Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday. It is probably close to 7 o'clock here in uh, Ontario. Yeah, I just wanted to get on here um, and uh, just chat with you guys for a bit and uh, show off my little Rami here. I'm going to be doing a uh, change video today. I mean, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing today. Um, I'm kind of in a slump, not going to be honest, but I thought I'd do a, a changing video. But I also have a package that I wanted to uh, unpack in front of you guys since, yeah, since I got it today. So I might as well show you guys. I also have some extra packages um, and that I also need to unpack, but I haven't had a chance and I haven't really um, felt like it, which, yeah, I have been having a little bit of issues with some anxiety and um, I'm just in a slump, I guess. That's the best word. I'm kind of down. I have been kind of down the last, uh, whoa, um, almost two weeks now. So, um, yeah, trying to clear my mind and keep it on positivity and uh, just being around these babies and stuff helps me um, recover from that. I love this little piggy. I got this from Carter's. I actually bought it online um, a couple of, mm, probably like a month or two ago when I got that. I really love it. So I haven't had it, I haven't done a change video, I think, with my Romy in a while. So I'm going to do one today. This is Romy by um, Gudrun. The sculptor is Gudrun Legler. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I, I don't know if I ever pronounce it correctly and um, or say it correctly. That's what I meant. And uh, it was painted by Reborn Sweet. She is a an amazing artist. So yeah, isn't she adorable? <laughs> I thought I'd do um, a changing video on her. But before I do that, I just want to show you guys um, what I got for my new phone. Um, I'm recording with my phone, so it's not on it right now, but this is what I per picked up. Isn't that cute? So this is just the um, regular iPhone case. Uh, I like this. I just don't like the bottom piece, like right here. Like it looks too exposed in my opinion. So if any liquid got in the phone, for instance, like it got over, it can get into all where, you know, you would plug your phone and stuff. I do like the material. It's a silicone. It's a really soft, velvety silicone. And the inside is like a material. I don't know if you guys can see that. I thought I'd show it off um, because I really liked it. I picked it up on, uh, I just bought this on Amazon. Their cases are really pricey. I'm not going to lie because this is the actual um, iPhone brand. So yeah, so if that's a, such an issue, um, I would go for something cheaper. Um, and I also love this, like the underneath here has the iPhone logo. It is covered though. And this is like the cute cat thing. I'm such a fan of this. This is like um, a pop socket. I like to hold on to one of these. It's easier for me with my phone and it just makes your phone super cute. I, I mean, this isn't about this, but I thought I'd show it to you guys because I just got this this weekend and I really love it. I'm obsessed. I love anything pink. Like pink is like my favorite color. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so before, um, you know what? I'm going to do a changing, I'm going to change Romy first and then I'll show you guys what I got because why not? So this way I can chat with you guys while I'm changing Romy. So, um, I've been really, like I said, I've been really busy, uh, working on babies this week has been intense. Last week has been intense. So I have completed a uh, reborn Juno. That baby is a custom. It will be going home to its mommy once it's completed, but the baby's hair is complete. Um, I just finished sealing it today. By sealing, it's like gluing inside of the head, uh, magnetizing it for the passy. Um, I still have to make the pacifier though, however, but that doesn't take that long to make. So I got to do that still. And uh, now I'm just trying to figure out what else I needed to say. 
oh, this has to be removed here. So I still have to um, put the baby all together, but I have to let the whole, like I have to let the baby dry completely properly before I do that. I love her head. So nice. It's so soft. She's such a beautiful baby. Like she was made by Reborn Sweet, like you guys know. I just adore her. She is very beautiful. She's such a gorgeous baby. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but with me, since I'm an artist, I'm always trying to um what do you call it, fix certain things or change certain things about my artwork. Um, I love, oh my God, I just love how it feels and varnished and everything. But I like to like change everything. I don't know, like there's certain things of, about my work that I wish I was different and I wish I could change. Um, and the best way is to look at other people's artwork and things that you love about their artwork. That's where you're like, okay, so this is where I should, you know, increase something or whatever. If you're an artist, right? If you're not, you'll just be looking at the baby. Oh, it's so beautiful. And that's how I look at my babies by different artists. They're so beautiful, but I also study them. Like every time I change my babies, I always have to study them and figure out okay how do I want to how do I want to make my next doll like is there something that is lacking and yeah and I know like we always say we are our worst critic when it comes to our artwork or anything that we do in that manner and we'll always look at up to somebody else that they could do it better um but I feel that anybody can do it better as long as they put their heart and soul into it study it you know like read look up pictures whatever you need to do to um get better at whatever you're trying to get better at and it doesn't even have to be art it could be anything i'm talking about anything in general if you put your heart and soul into it um you will eventually love what you're doing it's always natural to kind of feel compelled to do better it's in our nature. We, we're human beings. So it's almost like a competition. Like um, it is, but it's not. But it's like a healthy competition. You just want to do better. And there's nothing wrong with, with wanting that. Um, so. Anyways. Well, I get lost sometimes when I'm talking to you guys. I just get lost. Because sometimes there's so much running through my brain. So the outfit I'm going to be putting uh, on Rami is this cute outfit here. Um, it's called, it's by Little Planet Organic, or it's by Carter's, but it's, I think, a different, a brand, like an organic brand uh, from Carter's. I just actually just bought this. Very cute. So I'll be putting this ba uh, this outfit on. It's a very neutral outfit, very good for boy or girl. And it's newborn, but it's very cute. It's got like, it almost reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. And it's like a beige color. So yeah, guys, so I just completed, um, like I said, Juno's done. Juno's just has to be, uh, just has to properly dry. And then he will be born probably around this week. Um, I would say roughly Thursday. If he's dry by, uh, yeah, by Thursday, because tomorrow he might not be ready yet. But he will be ready soon. So, and then I have to send him home to mommy. But, yeah. So. Oh. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, 
There's another baby that I'm going to start rooting today if I can, if I feel up to it. If not, I will start tomorrow. And it's the baby Colin, another custom that I'm completing. His eyes, however, have not came in. It's an open-eyed sculpt, and his eyes have not came in yet. And I'm freaking out a little bit. I keep checking to see where it is. Um, it is moving around, but it's just taking forever. So, yeah, I'm just not really happy with that. I'm still waiting on his... <laughs> he has glass eyes, um, so I'm just waiting on them. And... Where I or normally order, I normally order from McPherson's. Um, that's normally where I would order because it makes it easier for me to get it because it's right in Canada. And I get it within a couple of days. So I was like, oh, I hope that I get this baby soon. Not baby. I soon. But it's okay. I still have to root the doll. So the doll's not going to be ready anytime soon it's still gonna take me another three to four days to root that baby or probably more because it's a bigger head it was bigger than the one that i just finished like juno has a smaller head so not so bad but with colin it's got a little bit of a bigger head so yeah that's that and i just finished painting two dolls today um reborn sailor rose which is a long sold out limited edition kit. Uh, a, a baby that still people want and can't get. By Cassie Brace. And that baby guys, I'm not, I, I know there has been a few people that have messaged me. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video. That baby's not going to be cheap once it's complete. It is a long sold out limited edition kit and it's a very sought after baby. Um, so that baby will not be cheap. I'm not going to lie. It's going to cost quite a bit, probably more than my normal price ranges that I normally have my baby set on right now. Um, and then I also have a Man Manuela that I'm adoring how uh, she is turning out. She's turning out so darling. I just love that kit. Like the Manuela kit is like amazing. I love it so much. Um, she just also I just completed painting her today. Uh, tomorrow I will be completing with the skin texturing, um, sealing, varnishing, matting. You know anything like that. I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow with both kits, and then I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let those babies sit for probably. For the rest of the week, I will be done with them, like with painting them and stuff like that. And then they will probably be growing hair by, if I feel up to it, I will do a little bit of maybe rooting if I can, rooting them. If I'm not done Colin, if Colin is complete, because Colin is my first priority, he is a custom. Uh, but if not, then I won't be rooting them until probably next week because I have to work on Colin. So, but at least I'll have two babies. Oh yeah. And I forgot to say Scylla Rose and Manuela are for sale babies. So those two babies will be available. So if anybody would be interested in them, uh, you would just have to message me once those dolls come up for sale. I know some people have asked me if the price of Scylla Rose. Um, I'm not sure how much Sailor Rose will cost, but Sailor Rose will most likely be over a thousand dollars. I'm not lying about that, guys. Like, she is a very, very expensive kit. Like, if you were to buy a kit from her right now, like if you were if you were to find a blank kit of Sailor Rose, those kits are probably being like sold roughly around four to five hundred dollars or more, depending on who's selling them. It's worth quite a bit. And then painted ones, I've seen painted Scylla Roses for $3,000, um, anywhere between $1,500 and three grand, And it's insane, but it is, there is a reason for that because of them, of the doll being so sought after and being a limited edition sold out kit, which means you cannot get the kit. That kit is sold out completely, um, 
it makes the doll more more worth it in a way like not worth it but you know the value is is really there um so yeah so if you guys are wondering the doll is not going to be cheap it's going to be an expensive doll uh, Manuela is also not going to be like she's a beautiful kid I really love how she turned out I'm not sure how much I'm going to price her at yet but um yeah and they're both going to be rooted too which also add to costs as well um I'm still more of a preference of rooted hair more than I am when it comes to painted hair uh it's just my preference I do love babies with painted hair don't get me wrong but I do, my preference is all rooted. It's that realism that I just adore. Uh, but again, there are certain things that I like about painted hair. Like this baby here. Um, she has rooted slash painted hair. So it's basically combi. So her whole head is painted. And only the top part is rooted. Like right here in the center. Uh, but her hair is very realistically painted. Which I love. I'm very picky when it comes to painted hair though. Like, if it's not done right, it doesn't look realistic. But when it's done right, it looks really real. Another thing I love about painted hair is that if you put hats or anything on it, it won't mess up the baby's head. And you don't have to deal with uh, maintenance and having your hair having to fall out or anything like that. That's what I love about um, painted hair. This thing here is bugging me. I think this hair is too small, in my opinion. So, or big. So, yeah, but that's where what's happening here right now in the nursery. Um, I might take a little bit of a break after I'm done um, painting and rooting all the dolls that I have right now. Like, basically, I'm done painting. But basically, when I'm done, like, sealing and everything like that, I think I'm going to be taking maybe just a week off for myself because I've been, like, making dolls, like, crazy this thing's bugging me my OCD is kicking in guys I have really bad OCD so but um yeah yeah see I want to I'm kind of tempted to remove this off right now uh I may do that after I get off here like I stop recording but yeah, it just, it doesn't seem right. It's like super big here. But again, these dolls, um, they're, they're fitted differently. So they might, it might look okay on a real baby, but on a doll, it will kind of look loose. All right, guys. So I've been talking a lot and yapping a lot. I'm going to show you what I got. So I got a package. So I picked up, um some cute items for babies so what this is is um i've been waiting on this for a while but these are baby hats so i like to send them home um these are just like cute little baby hats and i'll show you what i mean so these are what i send home with my dolls normally i ran out of a bunch but these are just like little mohair these are like little mohair um, hats. Oops. See? I like to send these home to, uh, with the babies. Are they cute? So they're like little mohair uh, knitted hats. And I'll show you how one looks like. I like to send them home with, with uh, their mommies. Like with the babies that I make. I like to send one with the baby that I make. Aww. So cute. So I ordered in a few shades, in a couple of shades. I just ran out completely. I only had like a pink one left. Um, so for anybody who is getting a baby for me, we'll be getting one of these. Um, I always send these home with my babies unless I'm like, unless I've run out. So I have in the shade dark brown. I have it in this shade as well, which is like a turquoise blue. It's like a turquoise. 
Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I love these so much. I bought, I buy this from an amazing shop, a cute shop. I always get the same ones. Isn't that cute? So I also got, I got two in the shade blue. I've got a bunch because it'll last me a while and yeah. And then I also got gray. I got a lot in gray because gray is very neutral. So I got like one, two, a bunch in gray. About four. Okay. Showing you the shades that I got. This is really just reborning supplies, but these are just to send home to you guys. I also got it in this shade, which is a nice um, blue. It's just like a regular blue. This one's just like a... It's this shade blue. It's almost like a purpley blue. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I don't know what kind of blue this is. But maybe like a light navyish blue. So I got a few. I've got four of that color. So I like these because um, technically you can have any of these for girls or boys. It really doesn't matter. Um, I love gray because gray is really good. Well, gray is like for boy and girl. The blue shade could be for boy and girl. The brown could be for... The brown is more for boy, I would say, in my opinion. But I got many different colors, guys. Many different colors. I even have this one. I got three in this shade. And this one's like a yellow goldy color. Which is really nice. I'm impressed with these. And they're the nice, very nice quality. They're really nice. Aren't these so cute? Look at that. I love it. It, it suits Romy. Wow. I can't believe how much I actually bought. Okay. Yeah. Then I have pink, which is really good for my little girls. If I want to send a really pinky color home to their mommies. Isn't that cute? I actually want to learn how to make these guys. And I have about four girl uh, pink ones. I really want to learn how to make these. I just don't have the time to make it right now. But eventually I want to learn how to make them instead of buying them. But for now I, want, I will just buy them and send a nice handmade item home with your baby then I have purple uh, last time I only ordered a few because I didn't know if I was gonna like it this is purple I've sent home purple pink color before I have newer colors this time but I always like have pink and purple in, in to send home because these are really nice sheets to send home to girls there's a little purple one this one's really cute too. They're all cute. They're all the same, but just different shades. So I got four in that shade. And I got one more. One more, guys, to show you. I will try to show you one of each. And I got it in the shade white, which is great for boy or girl. I love these white ones and... Like brown is more, I would say more of a boy color, but you can use it as a girl too, but more for boy. And there's white. And I ordered about four, I think, of white. Yes. I think I only had like one left in there, which was pink. So yeah, I buy these so I can send home to their new mommies with their babies. Sometimes I'll keep one for myself, for photography, for my dolls. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I hope you guys take care. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.